Good morning, Eagles. This is the Fuse bringing the good news. Here are the announcements for Friday, March 8th. Hi, I'm Will Whitfield. All students in grades 6 through 12 need to check their student email for yearbook survey. That was sent to everyone last week. Also, if you had pictures made as a senior sibling, please fill out the survey for that as well. It was emailed separately. Please take a couple of minutes to fill these surveys out. It is crucial for the pages scheduled for these groups. Hey, it's Corbin White. Here are a few dress code reminders for you. Everywhere like jackets, hoodies, and things like that should all be NCS branded and should only be worn over standard NCS dress code shirts. Non-NCS outerwear should be stored in the student's locker for the day. All uniform skirts must be no shorter than the length of a credit card placed vertically at the crease of the back of the knee. Please check to make sure your skirts are the appropriate length. Also, please remember that tights, blankets, and jeans with holes are not allowed. Hey, it's Kayla Natalie. Please remember to donate a dollar to the Ordinary Hero Project today. It makes a big difference for a worthy cause and helps out Minty's home country. I'm John Owen Delavante. For security reasons, students must have their ID badges with them at all times. If you do not have your ID badge, the following will occur. First time, warning. Second time, demerit. Deactivation, and you have to get a new one. Hey, I'm Eli Sullivan. Save the date for the Art Week, week of April 8th through the 12th. The spring concert will be on Tuesday, April 9th at 6.30 p.m. and the art reception and awards on Sunday, April 14th from 1 to 3 p.m. Hi, it's Will Taylor of Sports. Today at 4.30, the high school softball team will play at Brentwood Academy in a scrimmage. And then tomorrow, high school softball plays at Megan McCrary Play Day. On Monday, the baseball team starts their season with a 4 o'clock game at Liscom Academy. And then the softball team kicks off their season with a 5 o'clock home game against Harpeth. So what's your go-to gas station snack and why? Um, my go-to gas station snack would be the chocolate ding-dongs with the vanilla icing inside and a Coke. And I don't know why, I just get it all the time and it's the move. All right, thank you. What's your go-to gas station snack and why? Uh, probably Airhead Extreme Bites and Mountain Dew just because whenever I'm really tired, it just gets me going. And plus, you know, what can, what can go wrong with Mountain Dew? You know what I'm yeah, all right, thank you. No problem. Oh, yeah. So what's your go-to gas station snack and why? Cheat your honest. Absolutely, because you got to like a good fried pork skin with like red pepper, maybe some Louisiana hot sauce. Sounds good. It's excellent. All right, thank you. But you have to have a Pepsi with it. I bet. You gotta have a Pepsi. All right, thank you. So, what's your go-to gas station snack and why? Chex Mix. And is there a reason why that? No. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so what's your go-to gas station snack and why? Uh, when I go to the gas station, I try to go to the Shell. They have the pastries over there. I love the apple fritters, and I like them because they're so big, it's like getting two things in one, so it's excellent, and, and it's good for the heart. They, they've proved that apple fritters are good for the heart. I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Today's scripture reading is going to come from James chapter 5, verses 15 and 16, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avalic much. Let us pray. Dearly Father, thank you for this day. We thank you for our school. We thank you for everything you bless us with. And we thank you for us having a good week. And just help us to have a great Friday. And just help us just to in this week strong and just help us to have a good weekend and just help us to have another good last week before spring break and just help us to have a great day and a great weekend. In Jesus' name that we pray, amen. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And until next time, this is The Fuse bringing the good news. Have a good Friday and a good weekend, everyone.